Right, right. Um, I think uh, just just we're kind of ahead of schedule. You know, we have a lot of guys coming back. We have experience, so I think um, you know it's uh, still still teaching going on, but I think less in the past year. So I think we're kind of ahead of schedule in terms of um, just learning different things and uh, being where we need to be uh, when the ball tips up. What did last year teach you about this team and about yourselves a little bit? Right, I think it taught us, um, you know, just just resilience. You know, just how to be there. You know, every time you took one of those tough losses, you know, you had to kind of bounce back. And I think that was something that, um, you know, obviously there wasn't a lot too much to be proud of from last year, but I think that's something we can look back on and really kind of hang our hats on because um, it's not easy to do. You know, when you take losses like that, to be able to bounce back and put yourself in position to win the, the next game after that. And I think we did that. So, um, you know, I think it's just about taking those experiences and, uh, and learning from them and, and being able to just uh, put them behind us, but at the same time use them to push us forward this year. Justin, um, you know, mentioned that he's feeling good after his surgery, but you know, how are you getting back, and, and how much did that injury affect you last year? Right, right. Uh, it did. It did. I ended up having surgery at the end of the season as well, um, and so um, you know, kind of the summer was just kind of rehab time for. But um, you know, I'm feeling good, feeling great now, and I think uh, last year kind of held me back at times, but um, you know, I wasn't going to use that as an excuse or anything like that. And I felt, you know, for the most part, every time I was on the floor, I was able to kind of, you know, still produce and uh, do some of the things I did. Maybe not to my full ability, but, um, you know, if I was going to take a step on the floor, I knew uh, I had to kind of bring it. So it wasn't going to be, you know, something else holding me back. Right? So, so. What specifically was it in your ankle? Did you have, like, bone spur in there? Right. I had a, it's called um, ostrichonal bone I had. So I had, it's a, kind of a small bone that, um, you kind of either won with or not. And uh, what happened was I rolled my ankle pretty bad. And so um, that kind of started bothering me a little bit. So they just went in and took it out at the end. So um, not too much damage in there or anything like that. It was just kind of getting that bone out of there and then just rehabbing it back to normal from there. Was that preseason or when you rolled it, like right before the season that started was or something? That preseason, yeah, yeah. Right, before, right before the season. So. Okay. Yeah. How much of a focus this offseason has been on finishing for this group? Right. Um, I, I, that, that's a big word for us here right now um, because we feel like uh, that, that, that was missing was last year. You know, whether it was, um, you know, lack of experience or anything like that, you know, uh, we just didn't finish, you know, plain and simple. You know, we had games that we had, you know, not in the bag, but, you know, games that we were in a great position to win and we didn't finish, you know, and I think uh, – so we're kind of taking that term to, to everything, not just on the court, you know, whether it be school, finishing your schoolwork, whether it be in the weight room, finishing lists, finishing everything. So, because um, we feel like, you know, if you can finish in all areas of your life, it's going to be easier to finish on the court. So, well, what is it? do you think you guys are for, for this season and the challenges of, you know, a five month schedule and all that? Right. right. I think, um, you know, maturity kind of steps in. You know, I think we have guys that are leaders now and uh, guys like myself, you know, just in Marcus, DA, all the older guys, you know, we've kind of been through the rigors of the season, um, you know, three times now. So uh, I think that's a big thing for sure this year. And just, um, like I said, I think we just have have more experience, man. You know, we've been through those ups and downs, and specifically the downs, and we know how to get ourselves out of that. And so I think, um, you know, at times this season, you know, we, we expect to have some highs, you know, with, with the team we have right now. And I think, um, you know, with, with handling those lows, I think we're going to be able to handle those highs and not let them get too high. Obviously, experience is one of them. But what else do you like about this team? What are the strengths of this team? Right, I think uh, you know the, the new transfers coming in. They bring um, a different type of athleticism that we didn't have last year, so I like that a lot. Um, you know, and I think everybody just kind of took a step up in their roles, and I think that's good. And I think um, we have more options and more depth too with the guys that you know registered last year. So I think they're going to be able to come in and um, you know whatever their role is to be. You know, whether it's five to thirty minutes, whoever. I think. Um, Whoever steps on the floor this year is going to be ready to contribute. I think um, that's a big thing because uh, we have to respect. When the other team has to respect, everybody that you put on the floor, you know, it makes a difference. Good,